Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day this afternoon. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. My package almost fell out. Anyways, today we're going to do an unboxing from White Mountain Knives, and it's a little bit unique. I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, before we jump into it, which is probably going to be through this crack where it almost fell out, if you guys would, if you're so inclined, please hit that subscribe button, that bell notification icon, and thumbs up or thumbs down, comment if you like. Evidently, that helps more people see the video. But instead of just cutting into the envelope, we are just going to pull the box out of the envelope, and I'm going to be thankful that it didn't fall out. Use the best tech send to saw through that. And we have a box within an envelope. All right, guys. So we will use the best tech sin to get into this guy. What we have here, guys, is a Viper knife. The last time I got a Viper knife, it was, I want to say, my little one and my little two, those fixed blades that I got that were um, Jesper Voxnez designs. But this is a Viper. They call it Techno Cut, whatever that means. It is made over in Maniago, Italy. Uh, QR code there, little sticker. It is the V6002CG, which is, if I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to be the Viper Twin. And this knife had kind of caught my attention because as I've kind of jumped into the slip joint game, I'm noticing different, what's different, different types of slip joints and wanting to try different types of modern slip joints. So what we have in here besides our little slip and our slip joint is something in Guidelines for proper use, blah, 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 different steel types, things like that. All right, guys, let me get this out of the way, and we will do a quick first impressions of this knife and see what we think. I can tell you already, it's perfectly centered. The micarta is done exceptionally well. It does sit a little bit proud of the bolster, but feels very good. I love the contour in that spring. Got a little lanyard hole, titanium. Very nice half stop. Very nice open. Very sharp, guys. This is the Viper Knives Twin. It is an M390 modern slip joint. I liked it because of the look. I liked it because of the materials. I did not know the walk and talk was going to be that good. It is very good. It does have an internal stop pin. Minimize any chance of blade wrap there. Um, this knife is available in many different configurations over at White Mountain Knives. I got a little confused, guys, because you can get this knife with carbon fiber inlays at one price. Then you can go through a whole host of these bolster on the top, bolster on the bottom, with either micarta, ivory, G10, natural micarta, and that's another price. Then 
this exact same knife is available without this bolster where the carbon fiber G10, or excuse me, micarta G10 come the entire area here of the back of the knife. And that knocks about another $20 off the knife. And if you guys are interested in this knife or any other knife at White Mountain Knives for that matter, please feel free to use Javon 10, J-U-H-V-O-N 10, and that'll save you 10% at checkout. Things that don't apply are like Jack Wolves and some of the other knives that have hinderers. I love that satin belt grind. I love the way the Rakasa is set up. I don't worry about that closing on me. Has very minimal branding. It does say Viper Twin on the blade. We could do without that. It does have a nail nick. However, I tend to just grab, but the nail nick works very well. Guys, I love the size of this little knife. The knife I'm carrying today is the Feel Good Jack. And again, this isn't a review. This is just an unboxing. And then let's take a look at it next to the Ohio River Jack. I think that'll give you guys an idea of where it About the same size as the feel good, just a little bit smaller or a little bit larger than the Ohio River Jack. But guys, that is the Viper Knives Twin. Let me, uh, I know what I did not do. I did not cut paper or see if it would cut paper. Kind of an interesting little taco slip. Haven't seen one of those before. It's light. Maybe that'll work out good. Let me grab a piece of Smoky Mountain Knives catalog. This is a very thin blade, guys, with a very nice swedge on that spine. The cutting geometry. Yeah, in terms of from the factory, this is by far, or at least in the same category as, the sharpest slip joint from the factory coming in hot from Maniago, Italy. If I wouldn't hit it wrong, like I'm doing right there, I could actually cut through it. I usually don't do cut tests with uh, my knives, don't do a lot of cuts, cutting with slip joints, but I can tell you, this guy here was a surprise when I ordered it. I think it's a surprise now that it's come in. I was a little bit hesitant, and I'll give you guys full transparency. I was looking at this knife, and I've been looking at the Viper Twins. White Mountain Knives has a bunch of different configurations. I did not know it was that thin but I've been looking at this knife for quite a while. I've been looking at this knife and I've been looking at the Tuya Tortiga or Tortega. That's their slip joint. Um, when I was over in Blade Show, I did not see this knife, but I did see the Tuya Tortiga. And I'll be honest with you, I really, really, really like that knife. The Tuya seemed like a great knife. So when I got back from Blade Show and decided it was time to, since I had been so responsible at Blade Show, to buy some of the finds that I saw at Blade Show, I went to White Mountain Knives thinking I was going to get the Tuya. But I started looking at the Viper again, um, the Twin. And something led me down this road, guys. I don't know what it was. I'm going to call it fate because I think I'm much happier so far with this knife that I would have been with the um, Tuya Tortiga. I know the walk and talk's a lot lighter on it. I know it's a bigger knife because I held it. And this is what I was looking for. Um, kind of a smaller knife that was not a Jack Wolf, something modern, something different 
that I didn't see a lot that a lot of people might not have experience with. So some of you that are into modern slip joints or slip joints, just like I wasn't about six weeks ago, and now I am, but uh, just to show some stuff off that you might not always see. And I really like this knife so far. I look forward to carrying it, giving it the rundown, and coming back to you guys in a week or two with my full review, overview, and thoughts. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Thank you if you've subscribed. Thank you if you've hit the uh, thumbs up button, or if you've hit the thumbs down button, or if you've hit the bell notification icon, or if you just come by and watch my videos occasionally. Thank you for that. Guys, I will ask that you please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.